Hello again from Central Virginia. I was gone for a couple of days, and when I came back, rabbits had gotten into my big garden. Maybe the gate wasn't shut completely. I don't know. At any rate, rabbits got in here, and they gnawed down and nibbled all of my radishes, a bunch of my radishes that I had planted, and some kales, little kale seedlings that I planted, every single little bit of my spinach that I had planted, and this one particular bed. And they also got the bed right behind me, just the lettuces that were growing along. They didn't bother anything that was under the um, tent covering. So that was a good thing. I think they were just being opportunistic. Rabbits. I'm definitely on Teen Elmer Fudd. So here's the evidence of rabbit damage. Just completely gnawed them off. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I'm hoping this row of radishes will come back. You can see right here, this was arugula, completely mowed down. Spinach, completely mowed down. So what did we do about it? Well, yesterday my husband and I came out and we put a temporary rabbit fencing just sort of around the bed as best we could. Uh, this seems to be working in other areas. Of course, a persistent rabbit would get out but we just sort of put it all the way around this area. Also want to protect that Swiss shard that's coming back. It's really nice to, ha to see it coming back and I'd like to be able to have nice greens throughout the fall. This was a Swiss shard that really got mowed down. This was the damage from the blister beetles that came through, but I um, had treated them and then I, I just sort of gave them a big drink of uh, fish emulsion about 10 days ago and this bed is recovering really nice. I think the flea beetles have gone for the season and uh, we'll be able to get some Swiss chard coming along. So that's a plus. Here I've got some arugula coming up and a few radishes, some of which got nibbled off. I guess as I think about it, it could be slugs that are doing this, but it really looks much more like rabbit damage because it's so extensive and it's kind of just bitten off all on, on top, like kind of sheared off like there's a little Rabbit teeth. I can't complain too much because really I have a lot of beautiful things still growing in the garden and I can't, I just, I've been very fortunate to have a good garden season. So that's what we did with this bed. That's the tale of our rabbits. And hopefully I can get this garden growing again, this, this winter bed going again. It's in a place where I'd like to be able to cover it. Um, when it gets cooler so that maybe I can get these um, lettuces and things and radishes and spinaches growing into the winter a little bit. But that's the story. Thanks for watching. I hope your garden is still growing well. Take care. Bye.